Hampshire so excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready? Marawa Sports Worldwide. I guess I in a voice. Now I'm a member of the Sundowns. Ladies, now I'm all up on. Baba Shange, the number one with Pearson, number one in Hollywood. Ezga Majupusu, the two in Manchester City. Steve Compel, from the Tila Lapa. Indugu, it's a win. That is a point. Now I'm the Royal AM Gamatuga. It's a bit of a cool Lapa. Just unfortunate that the Kesa Chiefs fans or some of the Kesa Chiefs fans threw me as I've seen to into the pitch after the game and uh, the, the, it was uh, uncalled for they were not supposed to do that after such a beautiful game it should not happen we don't go to football to experience that these kids that go to games the safety of everybody at the stadium is always very very paramount I don't think there is a Kaiser Chief supporter who is realistic and knows and understands e football that expected us to beat the Orlando Pirates not with the way we are playing not with the players that we have, not with the management that we have, including the technical team. I was shocked by their performance. 1-0, 1-1, 2 2 full-time. Sundowns, smooth sailing. Other teams, Robert, uh, they are still sketchy. Nonetheless, good show is always. Get them <laughs> Very sketchy, you know, saying Sundowns continue to rule, and they do. I mean, you look at the log table, you look at the games in hand that they have, but the gap is massive. But Robert, my highlight of this weekend school is AJ knocking Francis out in the second round. He dropped him in the first, and then he knocked him out. Robert, we've got a say in Afrikaans, and it's not a swear word. But I, AJ, had Francis, I told that Hamur. <laughs> Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. All right, let's uh, first take you into what's been a top story regarding uh, the Springboks. Rassi Rasmus confirming uh, the new Springbok management team as the world champions are preparing themselves uh, to embark on the start of another World Cup cycle. So Erasmus introduced coaches Tony Brown as well as Jerry Flannery uh, to media in uh, Cape Town today as the focus turned to the ever-evolving playing landscape when it comes to rugby. Now on a new path, uh, uh, we lost two of our, uh, of our coaches. Not lost, you know, they, they got opportunities, not to say that they can't be back with us in, in, in the future uh, and then we've uh, put two new guys in, which I know really well you might know, not know them that well, but I know them way back from when I coached uh, uh, always want to call, call them Tom and Jerry, but uh, <laughs> Tony and Jerry and uh, Tony played and I coached with him a long time ago uh, at the Stormers and then we coached against him with, with Japan um, and then uh, you got Jerry who's uh, I think Anakin Cup semi-finals and uh, Pro 14 final I coached with him Right, so this is plain and simple and direct. Rassi Rasmus has now returned back as the head coach of the team after previously being the director of rugby. So I will always be not begging for my job. If I'm not good enough and, and the fans want me out, you know, then it's time to go. But uh, um, for, at this time, I'm so in love with this country and the way we do things and the way they support the Springboks that I can't think of a nicer job to have with all the pressure and all the other stuff which will come and people will be upset at times and I will be upset at times but I've, I've seen this movie before and I like this movie. <laughs> all right, coach. Uh, good to have you back there, Rassi Rasmus. Uh, you've seen this movie many a time before. Uh, Brown, on the other hand, though, the former Old Black Fly Half and also the new Bark Attack coach also shared his thoughts on his appointment. Firstly, it's just a massive pri- privilege to be sitting here. Um, you know, Springboks have got a, a massively proud history. Um, and for me to come in and try and be a part of that and add to add to that is a, a huge honour. And you know the way that the Springboks play the game is always admired around the world. And I've always been a big admirer of the way that South African teams play, especially the Springboks. Um, you know, my favourite player was Henry Honeyball. Um, I probably tried to play the game that way as well. Um, and. What the Springboks have done over the last two World Cups is massively impressive. The way they're able to win 
big games of rugby and win the key moments in games of rugby is, is you know, been a pleasure to watch. And, you know, for me, it's just exciting to be part of that. When I got asked to coach the All Blacks, or was it five years ago now, it was, for me, it just didn't feel right. Um, I've obviously had a, a really good relationship with Jamie Joseph. And if he had got the All Black coaching job, then 100% I would have been in with him. Um, but it just didn't feel right for me to coach with the, the other guys that were going for that job. Um, so Jamie and I went back to Japan and coached Japan. Now he's not coaching anymore and, and as soon as Rassi rung me, um, I said yes. And I've got so much respect for what Rassi's done with South Africa that I'm just excited to come in and be a part of it. Watch him operate, learn from him, um, learn from all the other coaches. Um, you know, so for me, you know, one day maybe I might coach the All Blacks. I don't know, but I just want to be part of this coaching setup and be a part of Springboks. Right, so the responsibility of the Springbok defence now belongs to Flannery, a former island hooker. It's a really special thing to play for a, a bigger purpose, and I think that's something that the Springboks have, have always had. And uh, from what I'm going to bring to it, I'm, I'm going to bring my very best. Also, very, very big night tonight for this. Yeah, it is the UEFA Champions League. Mikel Arteta calling on his players to be brave and have the courage to make things happen on the eve of Arsenal's Champions League last 16 second leg tie against Porto at home at the Emirates Stadium. Now, Arsenal trailed by a goal to null from the first leg in Portugal on the 21st of Feb, and also the current Premier League leaders were denied a single shot on goal in that particular game. Yeah, we certainly are going to have to tweak a few things um, to generate much more than, than what we did uh, against them, but um, yeah, it's... Is the level of the Champions League um, you're facing top teams? Um, the fact that there are two games as well plays a little bit in, in your mind, and uh, we're going to have to be better tomorrow. That's the opportunity that we have tomorrow in front of our people in our stadium for 96 minutes. Uh, bring your energy, bring your noise, and uh, let's do it together. Every every week, every opponent has his um, his strengths, his weaknesses, and and in the way of they approach the game. And um, and now we know a bit better. Uh, we played these kind of games many many times in the Premier League. We played one three days ago. Um, so we just focus on on being ourselves and do more of the things that we can control better than we did. Um, yeah. Well, unfortunately, we haven't had them for long periods uh, this season. Uh, the same like someone like Thomas as well. But uh, it's what we have. We have others as well. We learn with the experiences of of playing those games, and uh, the boys will be ready. Tomorrow. Yeah, prepare the best possible way, make a lot of right decisions and um, and then be brave and have the courage to make things happen. You cannot wait in this situation. You have to go and make things happen and, and that's approach tomorrow. So the captain, though, Martin Odegaard, said that the players know what they must do. I think we take a lot of good things from that game. I think it was a really good um, practice um, for this game coming up. I think we had to deal with a lot of different <laughs> situations, a lot of time wasting. And, um, yeah, we had to c control our emotions the whole game. And I think we did that brilliantly. So, yeah, I think it was a really good practice for, for another big game. And, uh, and we did really well. And, uh, as you say, top of, of top of the table. So, of course, we have to build on, on that momentum and, and the good feeling we have at the moment so yeah that's the goal to keep that going um yeah i mean every time you play you want to prove something i think um as you say especially after what what happened there and uh, if you compare that game to the other games we played recently it's uh, as you say the one that stands out but um as i said i think the feeling after the game was that we weren't good enough ourselves and that's a good thing we can change ourselves and um that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow you know we've we've looked at the game we played there uh we all have the feeling what we have to do different so we have that very clear and um and uh and yeah, we are so ready. Yeah, talk about being ready. It's a big game again tonight. You talk about derbies. We saw one over the weekend and it's the Etoine derby today. It's Super Sport United up against Mamelodi Sundowns. Everybody looking forward to that game. And it's actually crazy. I mean, Super Sport going into this game, buoyed by the fact that they are the last team to have beaten Sundowns in the league. Guess when that was? September 2022. Hi, Braro Puse, JC Tebe here. Uh, today is going to be a very good night for me. All my teams are playing uh, Sundowns, Arsenal and Barcelona. I'm looking forward to a very good night of soccer. So I just want to wish them well and hoping that uh, Arsenal and uh, Barcelona will proceed to the next round. And uh, obviously, my Melody Sundowns continue 
with their unbeaten run. Thanks a lot, Brarop. Good show, as always. Bye then. Thank you so much indeed. Hey, Barcelona in action as well. Tonight in the UEFA Champions League, they take on Napoli. So, Barcelona at home against Napoli. It is Arsenal versus Porto. Good evening, Brarop. This is Andres. Brilliant Monday. I want to talk about my team, Mamelodi Sundowns. Kawiyelo. I think we are going to wrap up this league very, very early, Brarro. The way we are, we are grinding the results. So the league is going to end very, very early, Brarro. So a good win by my team, Sundowns. Thank you so much, Brarro. This is Andres. Good show as always, my brother. Andres, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Saying that Sundowns are going to be wrapping this league up very early. Good evening, uh, Mr. Marao Kudumanas. I'm looking forward to uh, a derby after we watch uh, Isoeto derby over the weekend with uh, plenty goals. goal. Let's hope uh, even today with Zona derby we'll see a uh, lot of goals. And uh, what I think, Mr. Marao, is that Mamelo de Sundowns will wrap up this league before even reaching 25 games, looking uh, at their are current form they are untouchable they are playing a, a very 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 good football mr marawa under the guidance of uh, urulan mkwena and i've heard that uh, in his press conference he said that he want the team to reach 1000 passes of which i think it's possible to a team like Mamelo de Sundowns and then the Champions League I'm looking forward to it me Barcelona and Napoli I trust Ufita Osimhen Mr Marawa thank you Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide season Let's uh, take Louis on the line. What did you observe from the derby? Well, that was very, very, very exciting, man. That was a good uh, game of football. But I was so disappointed in uh, the Chiefs reserve keeper, Peterson. The tantrums that he threw at Mr. Johnson showed disrespect. I'm sure they must deal with him. Thanks so much. Listen to this, though, on the radio, Louis. Okay. Addressing that very same issue. Listen. Oh, yes. oh. Yes. Oh, it was just... A no normal chat to the coach. <laughs> coach, we lost the game. Why do we have to fight? Was that normal? Yeah. Did you see Kevin De Bruyne and tell Pep Guardiola to shut up? <laughs> it's normal. I want my players to react when we lose. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. All right, the big interview today. I can tell you one thing, though, that this tough guy doesn't quite get enough honor and praise that he deserves. And I say this free of charge, and that's the worrisome thing, because with every drop of sweat, every time there's even a bit of spill of blood, year in and year out, he puts his country on the boxing pedestal, puts himself out there. And just a month ago, he made South Africa's professional boxing history. Uh, He became the first local boxer to lose a world title and reclaim it in an immediate rematch. That was boxing history in this country. Never happened before. So the 25-year-old charismatic fighter uh, whose career is guided by the trainer, manager, somebody that we all know so well on this show, uh, Colin Namaganjani, Nathan, achieved this feat when, yeah, he gave Adrian Kroll a bit of a hiding up there in Mexico. And at such a tender age, and what he's already achieved in the ring is literally incredible. Sibonati special one nonchinga he is our special guest tonight and what an incredible special talent this man is ibf junior flyweight champion in the studio uh, this evening you can send us your whatsapp voice notes any questions any comments you've been following his career please 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 uh, get involved do call us into the studio as well now one thing even before i say good evening to him those who might not have been able to watch the fight All I wanted to hear and share with you from the commentary side of things was literally these 18 seconds. A miraculous comeback! The special one! Sivanati Nanshinga! A miracle comeback in this fight! A miracle comeback in life! Nanshinga is world champion again! Champ! I see you emotional. I see you shaking your head, nodding and agreeing. Welcome to the show. Um, Good evening to you, Prarab, and also to the listeners as well. Uh, It really feels good to be here. It feels good to have a world champion. I I, I can't think of the last time I had a world champion in studio for a live interview. You are certainly that person. 
when you hear those words from the commentator, a comeback in life, what does it mean? Um, you know, even when I lost the title, no, um, I took it in a way off. Um, I'll rise once again. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get on top and, and, and shine, you know, because I took it in a way of, uh, it's a, a minor setback for major comeback, you know, wow. um, you know, boxing and life, um, they always go together, mm -hmm. you know, you can always, um, f um, rephrase in life and boxing, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. So they are like the same thing. If, 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 you if, 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 if you watch boxing or you're a boxing fan or you're one of the boxing fraternity um you you will simply understand that so yeah it was all about that i knew that um i'll i'll get on top and everything happens for a reason at the end of the day what made you believe though because the tears that you would have shed in the defeat would have done what to you um, you know, Bro Rob, um, when I lost the title, I cried so much. Yeah. Um, I cried so much because I thought it was all over. It was the end of the world. But Colin kept on, like, kept me in check and telling me that I've managed to make you a world champion. I'll, I'll make you a world champion once again. Um, you know, um, I took it in a positive way, and I'm glad that it happened in some type of way, you know, because... Now I know I know better, mm. you know, uh, about the sport, about the game, uh, because the last time uh, I I tasted uh, like a loss, it was I think back in 2013. I was still in amateur back then, so mm. it was something new, you know, falling down in big stages. Um, as a young kid, you always like see everything like it's gone. Yeah. You you won't be able to make it again, but. Since I'm always around with uh, like good people, my team, Colin Nathan, I I can't uh, like I cannot uh, leave that man without mentioning him because he has played a huge role. You know, um, he has made me a two-time world champion at the age of 25, um, which is that's crazy. It's 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 I'm the first ever to do that. Uh, you know, in our in, in our country, as you know that um, I've managed to be um, that like a lone world champion in our continent as a whole mm. you know so yeah it was it was like that uh, i took it in a way of um this is a motivation i have to make sure that uh now um um, um i remain vigilant and cautious all the time because this is the game it's unpredictable at, at the end of the day so yeah that's how i took him you took it well you took it like a champ and when we go back and we analyze uh, what happened in that fight um, in Mexico, and you look at the first nine rounds that you had to endure, punches, you absorbed a lot. It was a tactical fight. So to come back from the break, be part of the conversation. The world champ is here. Hashtag MSW live now. on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live at the same time. Hashtag MSW. Dube joins me here in studio. What is it, do you think, the growth, the maturity, the ability, I think I mentioned it earlier on, of the coach to give him that freedom to express himself without losing the discipline hmm. of a professional football player? Yeah, it's quite interesting. I mean, he's that kind of player. You know, he wants to dance, I mean, on the ball. I mean, we, we football is entertainment. I know some people, sometimes people have issues with that, but 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 that freedom that uh, uh, um, Jose Rivero gives to Maswanga, I think it's important for his game. He's, he's a hard worker. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Sivanati Nanshinka spent about nine rounds just absorbing shots round after round. And now it looks like he could be on the brink of a knockout victory. But if you're not Shinga, you got to be the aggressor right now. Get off the rope. You got to be the aggressor. You got a hurt man. Why are you backing up? The question is, does Don Shinga have enough left in the tank to capitalize? It's the championship round. Oh, he big right hand again. He, got to. he found Let's the go. shot. Big shot. Don Shinga found the shot. He found the hole. Don Shinga hold on. to turn Don't this around. To hold on. Mark Malloy oh. issuing the count. And the crowd in Oaxaca is silenced. I'm, I'm confused with the rock play. Whoa. Simonati Nanshinga. Could be moments away from snatching back his world title. A miraculous comeback. 
Simonati Nanshinga. A miracle comeback in this fight. A miracle comeback in life. Nanshinga is world champion again. He is world champion again. He is live in studio. Sevenati Nanshinga, the special one IBF junior flyweight champion is here. And just reminiscing, going back to the actual fight itself, the strategy... I had spoken to Colin. Colin said, you know what, he never panicked, not at all. But also when you listen to the commentary, the commentary almost gives a sense that they had lost hope in you. Almost to say that the nine rounds, because remember, towards the end of the ninth round, yes, I'm sure you were thinking, no man, give me more seconds, give me another minute, because you had just taken charge of that fight. Um, you know, but Rob, um, we always believe in our strategy, you know. Yeah. We've been working um, on that strategy um, ever since we lost the fight. Uh, we sat down as a team. Mm -hmm. Me and Nomaranjani, uh, my dad, you know, Penny Perman, we sat down and we say, and we looked at the fight, you know, when we lost and then uh, we said that, okay, cool, we're too upright, uh, we're out we were trying to outbox. That's why he, he caught us with his uh, shot over arm. Mm -hmm. um, so now, we're going to give him what he wants. We're going to go there in the trenches. We're going to fight him back. We're going to fight fire with fire. And so that was the plan. Mm. Um, 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 since December, you know, everybody was enjoying with their families, having festivities. I didn't have one. You know, I was on camp. Training. I hear you missed Christmas. You were, you, you were training hard. I was working hard to make sure that I get my belt back. So, yeah. you know, everything that happened, like, during the fight, it was part of the plan. We knew, we knew that um, somewhere, somehow, um, along those rounds, he'll get tired because he doesn't like to get um, short punches uh, in, in the body and also he doesn't want um, a boxer to, 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 to mix with him, yeah. you know, and stay and be able to stay with him on the trenches. So we knew that he, he's going to panic and, and we're going to take grab the opportunity with both of our hands if it comes and then get the victory. And that's talk, exactly what happened. And talk about both of your hands, both of his hands. Is that why he, he kept holding for, I think, mid-rounds, round about round number four, five, then you started just the holding game, making sure that you don't have uh, the right of movement? Yes, he was starting to panic, you know, yeah. and, and the referee couldn't see that. Um, he also gave warning to me, and that's why I didn't even panic, yeah. because I knew that um, we got him. We got him. Uh, Colin kept on telling me that, son, we got him. Now we have to like apply more pressure and 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 make sure that um, you stay on like on the trenches. You fight with him and and, and mix with him, you know, and don't take unnecessary punches. Mm. So that was the part of the plan. That was part of the plan. Uh, and just uh, I know that at times uh, in the heat of the moment, it's a bit difficult to remember everything that's said in the corner. But was there a time, and I could I could hear now and again, keep doing what you're doing, although it was frustrating the opposition, but he just kept saying, keep doing what you're doing. It is good. What were they going through, do you think? Did they think that the, stra the, the, the change in the strategy and the tactics that you applied now versus the first fight was now confusing them. Yes, but uh, 100% because um, during the press conference, I uh, heard him, he said that um, I'm an Olympic style fighter, which is I'm going to move all around the ring. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, you all got it wrong this time around. Yeah. Um, I, I'm here to take my title. I'm here for business. So now I can't afford to move all around the ring, acting like I'm a champion. I have to go and mix with you and, and get the victory, you know? So yeah, uh, I, would, I, I could see him um, um, first round. I could see his face. He was a bit surprised yes. because if I didn't move, I didn't do anything. I was just um, on the trenches and my guards were up. So he was so shocked. You absorbed a lot, though, in that fight. Yeah, bro, but if you watch the fight, like, um, you go back and watch the fight, you'll yeah. see a lot of blows that he's throwing. They are landing on my, on my, on my, on my arms, Your you know? Your was up beautifully Ex in that fight. Yes. Exactly, because we made sure that we have to stay tight, you know, so that we don't get caught, because yeah. now we know better that, okay, if you get caught, like, um, 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 in a in a good place, um, in the right time, mm. you can fall down because that's what happened in our previous fight. So now we're prepared, we're well prepared about 
everything that is going to bring. All right, so you got a question that's come through. Good evening, Rob, and the special one, uh, Usi Venati Nonjinga. I uh, just want to congratulate you for reclaiming the IBF Junior Flyweight title. It was quite uh, uh, inspiring and amazing how you were able to come back from behind and claim a victory against that uh, Mexican opponent. Uh, just need to find out, uh, uh, for me, knowing that you lost the, the first fight against the same opponent last year, uh, what is it that you did and uh, together with Colin Nathan uh, differently to prepare for this fight that made a difference uh, that led to you being able to uh, win uh, this uh, about uh, also need to find out how did you feel after you pulled that uh, uh, left hook uh, in the ninth round uh, that uh, for me somehow possibly made the opponent a bit weaker just on a year you've used around it thank you so much the boy Thank you so much indeed. How do you answer that? Um, you know, thank you so much, uh, that means a lot to me. Um, you know, um, coming to your question, um, we, we didn't change much um, because, you know, we can box, we can outbox, uh, we can fight as well. So we just made sure that let's uh, fight, fight with fire. You know, we got to stay on the trenches yeah. and, 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 and remain focused all the time because we, we had to go there and take care of the business. You know, um, how I felt, um, yo, 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 mixed emotions, my brother, I don't want to lie. Because, you know, fortune, unfortunately in this sport of boxing, you have people that you look up to, but they will never give you any credit, you know. You, um, they will always expect more, although you are still young, still growing. But, um, to be honest, I felt uh, motivated. I, I felt like I wanted to achieve more because now that I've managed to get my title back, meaning that um, dreams delayed and not dreams denied because, you know, we're talking about uh, a lot more about unification, yes. meaning that right now I can even go for it. So that's how I felt. All right. All right. We're going to talk more about, uh, you know, forthcoming fights because there's some exciting things that are lined up. Uh, you know, got a bit of a whisper of it over the weekend in terms of what is going to be coming up next. I mean, you talk about what, what, what fighting and boxing does to you and also just your commitment. So it, when the CEO fight happened, I mean, he has a guy who you had admired for all your life. Now you have to face him, you have to fight him, and then you have to beat him. Clearly, it's not a sport for emotion. As a fighter, when you get in there, you don't care if, if it's Usia Bonga CEO or not. You go for the fight, you go for the kill. Just tell me about the mindset element and the approach. Um, you know, Prarab, you, uh, boxing is, is such a long sport, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so if you're not fit mentally, if you're not motivated enough, um, you won't make it. So you you got to be able to tell yourself that um, it's possible, you can do it. you got to be able to motivate yourself because at the end of the day, the manager won't call you uh, in the morning yeah. and say you, you have to go and run, you know, such kilometers or you have to go and train, you know. He's expecting you to be there in the gym on time, right on time. Without you being know? told. We, exactly. Yeah. Because that's why you need to take charge of yourself, you know, and, and, and know what you want at the end of the day. So to me... Um, it's easy because I've been this kid, even growing up, who was like that, always mm -hmm. motivating myself, um, always uh, sit in front of the mirror and do a soul search. What do I want? How will I achieve it? Um, where, will, where will I get this? Who I need to communicate to? When I'm when 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 I've done such mistake, when do I say sorry? Mm -hmm. So it's always been like that to me. I've always been humble. So. I, I just knew that um, when I got uh, here in Jobek, I, 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 what I wanted to achieve. So, for, unfortunately, I don't have any family around, so I can't uh, whine and, and, and tell myself that I, um, so and so and so. So, I okay. have to wake up in the morning and make sure that I deliver my promises because at the end of the day, it's no longer feeding me only, it's feeding the whole family back at home, you know. That's it's a responsibility at the age of 25. Exactly, you know. So now I started playing, but now it's a career. So I, I have to take it serious. But then that seriousness, who then makes sure that you are taken care of? Because there's a certain diet that you have to follow. Uh, you can't just be stopping by at any, you know, drive through and helping yourself to all the oily and healthy stuff that is there. 
also you are in the surrounds of Johannesburg and so many things that are possibly can happen to you from a security perspective to a, hey, bright lights of Joburg. I want to go to a nightclub. I want to do this. Hey, you're still a youngster. So keeping that discipline in an environment like this, who ensures that that happens? I know it's yourself, but who more than that? Um, you know, um, um, I got to give credit to my, there's a brother of mine, Manlake Kavan, you yes. know, whenever I'm preparing for a fight, um, if my father is not here, um, we'll just say I must come around in, in like in his house yes. and, 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 and train and, and, and his wife, Pumas Aswazi, he's always making like a, a nice balanced diet for me mm -hmm. so that I can show up as, 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 as great as ever, you know, and healthy, you know? Yeah. So yeah, uh, those are the two people that have managed to keep me on check. I remember how I met them is such crazy because it was it was uh some friends they took me over the play mm -hmm. apartment and then that's why i started to tell them that okay cool i'm coming back i'm not a person who's always out mm -hmm. but i love my own space um so i respect my own space so like i'm such a person who's always thinking about okay cool what am i going to do next yeah. you know how am i going to achieve is it as i said that so me being ill discipline it's quite rare because i'm always indoors mm -hmm. um it's all about training always watching um motivational speak speeches always on reading books you know that's me so yeah i i believe you gotta be built for this for this thing it's got to be tough. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, being under uh, Bob Temba and your dad since the age of seven, he was your trainer. He was training you from the age of seven to be a boxer. I mean, how crazy is that? But the influence that he has played in, his, in, in, in your life now in 2024, more than in, at any other stage, how do you view your relationship with dad today? Um, you know, always judge dad about, uh, like our dads about, um, how, mm. how can they afford if, if we want something. But to be honest, um, we gotta give them an ear and, and, and listen to them mm. and, 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 and make sure that you do whatever that, it, um, that they tell you to do but you know you're frustrated at some point and you say ah, but exactly bro but when you growing up you just realize a lot yeah. uh me and my dad our relationship is so tight than ever yeah because he's he's uh we have that um fr it's more like we are brothers somewhere somehow in other cases in other scenarios he's, he's he, he, he can be my dad you know it's crazy because i'm here right in front of you he was listening to one of your shows each and every day you know um i would always tell him that one day um Prarop, i'm gonna be with Prarop in studio wow. and i'm gonna do an interview with him so like to me everything that is going on right now or that is happening it's something that i've always wanted to, like to, to uh, of, uh, like something that i've always Wanted to to be part of, you know. Ever Sounds since like I was planned. Sounds like you visualize these things, and now they hear the, they happening. You're <laughs> sitting here in front of me, and I am just in awe of the human being that you are. Yes, Parop, and I believe being visionary and it's it's quite um it, it and a, a, a good thing to do, yeah. you know. So you must be able to dream. You must be able to have a vision, you know, because you know. And exchange just the energies with the universe, you know, mm. and 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 work what you have, Parop. Oh, I and love that. Exactly. Exchange the energies with, with the, the universe, universe Parop. Wow. Just be able to manifest. Pray if you have to pray, you know. Seek for help if you have to. But at the end of the day, eventually everything will come together. I'm chatting to a two-time world champion, man. I'm chatting to somebody who has gone to Mexico. How many times now? Three times. <laughs> Two times, bro. <laughs> you, love you, lo you love it there in Mexico. I think they're going to start giving you, uh, you know, nationality there in Mexico. But going there, having to face a hostile crowd, and you come back victorious. That, for me, is part of what you're going to be chanting about. Lots of your WhatsApp voice notes that are coming through. The champ is here. Hashtag MSW live on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live at the same time. Hashtag MSW.
In the world of business, every second counts. Postnet isn't just a service. Short, short, but yes! Turn him, turn him, no work, work! Let's go, see behind God! Watch, right side, turn right side, turn right side. This is the pace we train for. This is the pace that we've done. This is the fight that we planned for. And this is your moment. Hi, God. Keep doing what you're doing. He does not like those body shots. I can tell you right now, he's already starting to hold you. All I want you to do now is start turning him and let your hands fly. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm ringside right now. And you listening to that and you are almost reciting every word he was going to say, you know, stop smiling. Get serious. This is the fight that we work so hard for. Hey, man, take me through that. Colin Nathan. Sure. Uh, um, you know, like, no Ganjan has this ability to just unleash the peace that is inside of you, you know. Mm-hmm. I believe not everybody can do that. You know, it's such a special gift for him because I remember even when I won the title back in Mexico, he had some motivational, like, speaking, you know. Yeah. And, 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 you know, after I... He said those words, um, I'll get refreshed and get inside the square and just deliver, you know, and do the job perfectly. I'm such a person whereby you can tell, like, you need to do this mm-hmm. and like this, like this, this is, I'll go there and do it exactly how you um, want me, like, want, want it to be done. So you, you know? follow the instructions exactly. very well because, I mean, he's, he's, he's your trainer, he's your manager, uh, he, he's observing, he's there with the fight with you, he can see what maybe at times you can't see. And if you don't listen to him, then who are you going to listen to? Exactly, you know, and he's a person that I was working with during preparation. Yeah. So whatever he's saying, I know that, okay, cool, and we, 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 we got him. So this I got is a- the fight that we planned for. Sport boxing to the yes! 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 Do you want that championship yes. back? Then do it again for me. Let them go, yes! 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 Tight! Yes! 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 Tight! Slow down! Pick your shots! Quick hands! Step round! Step round! Yes! Step round! Yes! 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 yes. Gotta get low. Okay, don't be too upright because he's trying to catch you with those shots over the top. Breathe. 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 I like those body shots. You with me? Focus. Focus. And focus. Okay, breathe. You with me? You hear my voice? Okay, good. Breathe. Short! Short punches! Turn him, turn him, turn him. We're giving you a unique experience here tonight in terms of what happens in the ring. Uh, obviously, we brought back the belt. It's right here in studio. Uh, IBF Junior Flyweight Champion Stephen Unchinga is here listening to the voice. <laughs> it's ringside. It's Colin Nathan, Nomaganjani with the rest of the team. And I, I got a sense again that although maybe we were panicking more than anybody else in your camp, that he knew. I mean, he talks about the fight that we planned for being executed tell me more um you know um like any like everything that has happened during the fight it's something that we've planned for yeah something that we've been looking forward like for you know we knew that it's going it's going to happen if ever we were, were, were being able to apply the pressure and and do what's right at the right time um we'll start to fold and also um, we'll create that, that opportunity and we'll use it um, as our advantage. So it was all part of the plan. I, I knew like a lot of people were panicking, but yes. it was a part of the plan, yeah. you know, that you have to give him the target so that he can throw more punches and also um, you, 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 you counter him with, with big shots, which is the right overarm, uh, right overarm, right overarm um, that, that made the fight to end. Oh, and, and, and how it ended, because I think you also confused the commentators at some point. Um, I think after you rattled them the first time and you could tell and, and you went full on charge on, on, on attack. And then it was a start then of the 10th round and the commentators were starting to almost argue amongst themselves and say, but why aren't you going on full attack? Why aren't you going on full attack? But your defense, your guard was still up, had the plan. And when you got smaller and you had a gap again, and now he was just more than rattled. It was pounding after pounding, had him against the ropes. And I even thought that the ref was going to come in earlier and stop the fight. It didn't, got punishment. 
Hey, I don't know what you were thinking then. Because I'm thinking, hey, Riff, come on. You know, how much more punishment can this guy take? Uh, but then he took enough for him to then come through at the end. How were you feeling observing him literally almost go down? Um, you know, I uh, was feeling um, great. You know, I was feeling like a hero. Because now... Uh, I've managed to get inside the square yeah. and and get and, and grab my title back. You know, when I saw him, when I caught him, uh, I think it was round eight with a, a left hook. Um, you know, I wasn't surprised at all because you know when you've worked so hard, um, you just it seems like you know the results. You know, mm. even like inside the ring, um, you don't you don't get to panic because you know you just get so patient. You know because you know that okay, cool. If I catch him like this or like that, he's gonna fall down. So to me, um, I felt like it's something that I've like I was waiting for to happen that moment. You know, so yeah, I felt motivated to even throw more punches so that the fight can end. Yes. No, you punish them, shame. Good evening, Mr. Rob. It's Hon Felang here. And good evening to the MSW Shoulders. And good evening to the champ, the world champion, Mr. Sivanati, the special one, not Jinga. Oh, man. The three words ring true. They should ring true if we are all true, um, you know, sports fanatics and we see greatness. And that is what we see when we look at Usevena Tinonjinga. Unfortunately, um, I was unable to watch the fight, but I've heard the commentary a number of times. And man, the more you hear it, the more you realize that, oh man, we have a gem and a half in Usevena Tinonjinga. And I just wish that such boxers like him uh, should be given endorsements for days or they should be celebrated the way that we celebrate our football stars or our rugby stars, for example. Having said that, my man, I have no questions for you. I have no questions for Colin Nathan. I just want to say kudos to all you guys for the hard work that you put in for the um, for the never see die attitude that you always possess uh, from the moment you lost the championship. Oh, Colin Nathan said, you'll get back that title. And sure enough, that's what you did in your uh, rematch, in your immediate rematch, that is. For you to win it like that, oh man, just, it, it is just incredible. And I just want to say kudos to you guys. Well done, champ. You deserve it. No, Maganjan. I know. When you said you're going to get that title, no, Maganjan. I know, no, no. I, I could not underestimate you. You have stuck to your word. You and Seven Atinon Chinga spent so much work. And look, we have a champ again. So kudos to you guys. And I hope that title stays with the Seven Atinon Chinga for as long as he possibly can. Great show as always. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much for those words, those comments. Hulufalang. Appreciate it, man. Your quick response. You listen to the praises, the comments he made. Um, you know, like, um, thank you so much, guys. Uh, your comments, uh, your wise words. I promise you, um, when it's hard, I'll, I'll use them as a weapon, you know, to achieve such more greatness and make sure that I stay down to earth, just like um, how I am even right now. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Love you. This guy, he was at FNB Stadium watching a derby wearing a sporty. This man, sitting amongst people who did not know who on earth he was. As we're heading out, you know, towards the end, going out, and uh, you know, obviously I'd seen and spoken to him earlier. Ow, then I see a silver box. I'm like, hi, this guy can't be carrying weapons here. What, what's this box? He says, no, the belt is in here. I'm like, but you can't be serious. A whole world champion. At a stadium where even the president, the minister, everybody's here. A world champion at a derby. And Jay just sitting quietly. I was like, no ways, boss. We, we're going to pop this case open. We're going to go back and take photos with you there amongst the people so that they can see you're a world champion. I am not going to accept you sitting here very humbly and very quietly. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. Sporty comes off and... People were amazed. They were shocked. They were like, how? This guy's been sitting here for a whole 90 minutes. We don't even know uh, who he is. You, you, you saw that. I'm not lying. Yes. You're yes. not lying. And so when Hulifanang talks about sponsors and he talks about endorsements, it's a sore point because I don't know. Maybe things have changed in the last 48 hours. Do you have any endorsements? Um, but Rob, first of all, I have to thank you for that uh, because I felt like a world champion because of you. 
um, by doing all of that and say that we must take a picture in front of the pitch. Yeah. Um, no, I don't have any. Um, um, everybody's welcome um, um, to do um, like um, whatever um, if you have power or means you, um, you can support um, I don't have anything <laughs> I don't have any <laughs> South Africans I don't know if you're hearing what I'm hearing um, this guy world champion lost his belt went and reclaimed it the first time in Mexico IBF junior flyweight champion here in South Africa. No endorsements, nothing. I don't know corporate essay. I don't know what it is that you need. I don't know what it is that you're looking for in terms of a, a role model, a, a success story, a good story. I don't know what it is that you guys are looking for and whether you will find what you're looking for. But a, a boxing world champion. Guys, think about it. Think about it. I think we were all excited, eh? Drickus went and did his thing. Country came to a standstill. It was great. His name is Nonjing. Uh, good evening, Rob. Uh, Nonjing, uh, the listeners, and also Colin Nathan, wherever he is. Nabalandil um, Bamanundi Bonke, South Africa, especially the ones that are in East London, in Tanzania and Nespaluka. Um, Rob, congratulations to Usive Natinonchinga um, and his trainer slash manager, uh, U Colin Nathan. Um, though I did not agree with the strategy that they took, and I did not understand, but 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 it it worked. Um, the only thing that that I was impressed with um even though i was i was not happy with the strategy it's how they nullify um e, e right hand yala yala Antwana, because the last time ununjinga was knocked out by e over e, o, e over i'm right so i was very impressed in how they nullified i think that's when that boy got lost um that e, e, e power punch yayo he was not able to use it, though he was catching Unonching and get uppercuts, and those uppercuts were dangerous. But but the strategy worked well, and the boy got tired. And Unonchinga, as the champion that he is, he came and he he took, you know, the belt back home. Um, in in when if Unonchinga, I want him to unify, you know, the the the, the division. Uh, we need a a a, a South African. A uh, champion that has all the four belts, four major belts, and Unonjinga can do that. Ngusi Epe Ngusi Rob, congratulations to him and to Colin Nathan again. Uh, thank you, Sia, in uh, Port Elizabeth, listening to the show. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, he might not have time to respond to the question or the comments. Why? Because, hey, this man is being shown so much love. Good afternoon, uh, Robert. Uh, as always, a wonderful show. You've got a great man there in the studio. And uh, congratulations uh, for his uh, comeback uh, to reclaim his belt, uh, to reclaim what belongs to him. Yes, uh, it's a good man, that one. And uh, I wish him all the best going forward. Uh, Prime Rob, uh, dear Prime Rob, uh, wonderful show because I always listen to your show. Thank you so much. Uh, this is Chris in Guatemala. Guatemala, Chris, thank you so much indeed. Thanks for being a loyal listener um, of the show as well. Somebody said, where can we watch the highlights of the fight? You can go to YouTube. In fact, I'll try and post this later on. There is an eight-minute or so uh, fight highlights. Adrian Curiel, as well as Sivanatin Onjinga. It says two. Hey, Robert Murawa, MSW, greet you with a good art. And, yes, and your guest, the twice- IBF world champ. I congratulate him. You know, Robert, two things. Nay, you know, I'm listening to the commentary of his last fight. Nay, my hair are standing up straight. Nay, I've got goose pimples, man. You know, and Robert, but the champ made one comment a little bit earlier. Somebody in his training camp coach told him they're going to make him champ again after he cried. Robert and champ, that's all we need in the world, is somebody to give you positive energy. And you proved it. 
and I congratulate you. And may you, you're still young, huh? So at 28, yeah, may you continue. Thanks for the show, Robert. You and the champ, my blade, Ben Richter. Ben Richter, thank you so much. He's 25. Let's not age him. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to say goodbye. I want to play out with Colin Nathan losing his voice again because I just think that our experience here, yeah, almost being uh, ringside... I don't know who you're going to be fighting next. Are you going to go for Sonny Edwards? I know that he has to drop a division mm-hmm. if that happens. Uh, who's likely to be your next opponent? Um, the IBF just uh, ordered a uh, monetary defense, uh, which is a case number one. Christian Arneta, it's their match uh, mm. because I, I outclassed him uh, back in 2021 when I won the elimination. Yeah, which is a right to fight for the world title. So now it's Christian Arneta Nunchenga 2. Um, along the way, or maybe Sunny Edwards, Nunchinga. Um, yeah, it's gonna be both of them, it's gonna be a, a great show, you know. <laughs> and yeah, Nunchinga is back at the camp working so hard, trying to oh. polish each and every weapon that he has, you know, so that he can get inside the square and deliver his thing. May no weapons formed against you <laughs> be more polished than yours. Listen, that's what I want now. I want another round like that. Focus. Look at me, look at me. Do you want that championship yes. back? Then do it again for me. Focus for me. High guard, square that jab and work those short shots when he comes in. Focus, he may focus. Yes. Long, long, tight, long, tight. Long, long, long. Long jab. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. I've lost my voice. I've lost my voice. I've lost my voice. Now listen, you hurt him in that round. Keep doing what you're doing. Square jab. You see me? What you did yesterday doesn't matter. What you did a month ago doesn't matter. Life is all about moments. And this is your moment. Okay. Hashtag MSW live now. on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live at the same time. Hashtag MSW. Marawa, live on 947.